Hey there, everybody. It's so great to see you all again. Welcome back to the show. We have an exciting episode lined up for you today. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of big business and even bigger energy decisions. It's a topic that's more relevant now than ever. We're talking about Italy's own Eni, a global energy giant that's been making waves in the industry for years. Now, Eni is traditionally known for its oil and gas operations, but hold on to your hats, folks, because they're making some significant moves in the green energy world too. Yep, you heard that right. Eni is stepping into the future with renewable energy. Eni has this innovative subsidiary called Enibioc 4 in Spa. It's all about biomethane, a renewable energy source that's kind of like natural gas, but way better for the planet. Imagine a cleaner, greener future. Think of it like turning yesterday's leftovers into tomorrow's fuel. Pretty neat, huh? It's an incredible way to recycle and reuse. But here's the kicker. Eni is thinking about selling off a big chunk of Enibioc 4 in Spa, up to 49% to be exact. That's almost half, and that's got everyone talking. It's a bold move that's sparking a lot of conversations in the business world. Now, you might be wondering, Oprah, why would Eni sell a piece of something so promising? It's a question on everyone's mind. Well, that's what we're going to unpack right here, right now. We're going to delve into the reasons behind this strategic decision. Stick around, because this is one energy story you won't want to miss. Trust me, you'll want to hear every detail. So, before we get into the nitty gritty, let's get to know Eni a little better. This company has a rich history and a bold vision for the future. Picture this. It's 1953. Italy's still recovering from the war and they're hungry for energy independence. The country was in dire need of a reliable energy source to fuel its economic recovery. That's where Eni comes in. They started as a state-owned oil and gas company and boy, did they take off. They quickly became a cornerstone of Italy's industrial resurgence. Fast forward to today, and Eni's a global player with operations in over 60 countries. Their reach extends across continents, making them a significant force in the energy sector. We're talking exploration, production, refining, you name it, they do it. From drilling deep into the earth to refining crude oil into usable products, Eni has mastered it all. But here's where it gets interesting. Eni's not just about fossil fuels anymore. They are evolving with the times and embracing the future of energy. They've been dipping their toes into renewable energy. And that's where our friend Enibioc Foyin Spa comes in. This subsidiary is spearheading their green initiatives. They're investing in solar, wind, and yes, you guessed it, biomethane. These investments are crucial for their transition to sustainable energy sources. It's all part of their grand plan to become a net zero emissions energy company by 2050. This ambitious goal reflects their commitment to combating climate change. Ambitious, sure, but hey, you don't become an energy giant by thinking small, right? Eni is setting the stage for a greener, more sustainable future. Now, let's break down this biomethane thing, shall we? Imagine taking organic waste like agricultural leftovers or even food scraps and turning them into a clean burning gas. That's biomethane in a nutshell. It's like magic, but instead of pulling a rabbit out of a hat, we're pulling clean energy out of, well, trash. Think about it. We can reduce waste, create a sustainable energy source, and cut down on greenhouse gas emissions all at the same time. No wonder everyone's so excited about it. 
it's like hitting the environmental jackpot. And that, my friends, is why Eni's decision to possibly sell a stake in their biomethane unit has got everyone buzzing. Is it a genius move? A risky gamble? We'll dive into that right after the break. All right, folks, let's get up close and personal with Enibioc 4 in Spa. This is Aini's very own biomethane branch, and let me tell you, they're doing some amazing things. We're talking about transforming organic waste into clean green energy on a grand scale. Imagine this. Enibioc 4 in Spa has plants all over Italy, and they're churning out biomethane like nobody's business. They're taking agricultural waste, food scraps, and even the stuff that ends up in landfills and turning it into a valuable energy source. But it's not just about producing biomethane. Oh no! Enibioc 4 in Spa is also building a network to distribute this green gas so it can power homes, businesses and even vehicles. It's like they're creating a whole new energy ecosystem and it's pretty darn impressive, sons. Now, with Eni thinking about selling a chunk of Enibioc 4 in Spa, you better believe the phones are ringing off the hook. Everyone wants a piece of the biomethane pie, and it's not hard to see why. This is a chance to invest in a cutting-edge company with huge potential in a rapidly growing market. So, who are the potential suitors lining up at Eni's door? Well, we're talking big-time investment funds with deep pockets, and a thirst for sustainable investments. We're talking about energy giants, looking to diversify their portfolios and get a head start in the booming biomethane market. And don't forget about those venture capitalists, always on the lookout for the next big thing. Section 6. Will this sale make or break the biomethane market? Now, here's the million dollar question. What would Eni selling a stake in Enibioc 4 in Spa mean for the future of biomethane? Will it be a match made in heaven or a recipe for disaster? Well, the truth is, it could go either way. On the one hand, bringing in a strategic partner with deep pockets could be just the boost Enibioc 4 in Spa needs to really take off. Think about it. More money means more investment in research and development, more plants, and a wider distribution network. That means more clean energy, less reliance on fossil fuels, and a healthier planet. Sounds like a win-win, right? Section 7. Eni's future. Is biomethane still part of the picture? But hold on a minute. Let's take a closer look at what's really happening here. What does this sale say about Eni's commitment to biomethane in the long run? Is it a sign of retreat or a strategic move? Some folks are worried that selling a big chunk of Enibioc for in Spa means Eni's losing faith in the future of biomethane. They fear it signals a shift away from green energy. Are they getting cold feet and shifting their focus back to their old fossil fuel ways? Well, not so fast. There's more to the story. Eni still insists that they're committed to becoming a net zero emissions company by 2050, and they have a detailed plan to get there. They see biomethane as a key part of that plan, integral to their long-term strategy. They're saying that this sale is all about unlocking the full potential of a Nibioc 4 in Spa, allowing it to grow even faster, and accelerating the growth of the biomethane market. This move is intended to boost innovation and investment. They want to share the love, spread the wealth, and create a more sustainable future for everyone. By partnering with other stakeholders, they aim to expand their impact. This collaborative approach is designed to ensure that biomethane remains a vital part of the energy mix, driving us towards a greener tomorrow. Section 8. What do you think about Eni's big move? So, there you have it, folks. The Eni saga in a nutshell. They're an energy giant, 